Hello everyone and welcome to the It's Not Butter, It's Rhetorical blog. I am your host, Makai Walker, and today I'm going to be talking about my first blog post. My first blog post is an assignment we had in our comp and rhetoric class, led by the wonderful Professor Aaron Anderson. Um... Our assignment was our first assignment was a literacy narrative. Our literacy narrative was talking about our journey through becoming literate in something. Now, literacy didn't always have to mean being literate meaning reading, but when you say literacy, it can also mean being proficient when you're literate. The first assignment was our literacy narrative. The rough draft was pretty easy to write because I actually was able to get my ideas down. The problem was I couldn't get them organized. But I did a pretty good job at that. Um, with the first draft, I wrote a lot. And when I say a lot, I could write for hours hours and hours. Don't get me started. <laughs> but the second draft, um, well actually with the first draft, I'm gonna talk about that. First draft, um, in class we did peer review and our peers, that's when our peers just read our papers and they say what they liked or what they didn't like or what we could do better. Now, the thing about the peer review is it's good when your peers read your papers and then they find grammar mistakes and stuff, but really, they can't. It, it helps when you have when you're a person that makes grammar mistakes and sentence mistakes, sentence fragments and stuff. But with me, it was totally different because not everyone that read my paper was used to the way I wrote, but they couldn't find anything wrong. But when I brought it to Professor Anderson, she pointed out like a lot of things that I could have done better. So I benefited from my professor reviewing it than the peer review. Not knocking peer review for anything, because peer review is also good. But, so in my second draft, I was kind of listening to the fact that everyone that read my paper said that it was kind of too long. So I basically I just in my second draft my goal was to shorten, shorten, shorten to condense it. I did that but at the cost of leaving out a lot of details which came out in my final draft. So, here comes the revision. The revision, I listened to Professor Anderson's suggestions of putting in more details and giving specific examples of these. Because I was so afraid that when reading it, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't, it would be too much to read. But sometimes you need a lot to read. My biggest challenge with writing this paper was that I wasn't sure what to expect because it was my very first assignment. But you can see how um, in all my drafts, my writing processes, and the point of these blogs, the future blogs that I post, is to show the writing process. So that is why I posted all of my drafts for you guys to review. Have fun.